Well, my name is Lucas Willemsen, although some people know me by my Dutch name, Bram. Um, I'm a graduate student. I'm in my third year right now, actually. Um, and I, before coming to MIT, I studied Earth Sciences at uh, Utrecht University in the Netherlands. And after that, I moved to um, Luleå Technical University in Sweden. And then I came to MIT. So that's about me in short. So I, I study seismic imaging. Seismic imaging is when you have a source at one point, this could for instance be a hammer or um, an explosion or a vibration source, and that source generates waves of sound, so to say. Those waves travel through the earth, they reflect on interfaces between layers, and these uh, reflections are then recorded at many different locations. And when you get all these recordings, you can basically piece together where the layers are in the earth. And when you do that, you can find places where oil might be, or where you can store carbon dioxide, or where there is an ore body, so to say. And all those different applications, and also the fact that you're finding something that you cannot see with your naked eye is very interesting to me. Um, I came to um, Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences at MIT because I heard it was a very interdisciplinary uh, research group. When I studied in Sweden, it was a very applied study of the Earth, and I wanted to get a more technical and also analytic view of the Earth, and I heard that MIT was very good at that. And I talked with Rob van der Hills, the department head, who happened to be around at that time, and he explained to me all the different ways that the, that the research actually happens here, and it seemed like a very nice uh, group and environment, and it gave me the impression that it would be a great opportunity to, to develop myself here. I've become interested in what I study because I'm, I used to live in a country that had no geologic feature at all. I'm from the Netherlands and the only thing we have there is like grassland and cows. So there, there's not even a single rock to be found. So when I saw on the TV faraway places with rocks and uh, mountains and other kinds of interesting features that I had never seen, I became interested and also even fascinated by those things. And I wanted to see them and I wanted to see why do they have them and why do we not have them. So <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I got interested in it. A day in my life, um, I try to um, improve the methods I've been working on. Uh, it, it involves a lot of mathematics at this point and trying to find patterns in the equations to reduce the amount of computational work to improve the seismic image. Some days I make progress, some days I don't. That's the way research goes. Um, so I have to write a lot of equations on the board uh, try to uh, improve the algorithms, test them out, see what works, and uh, it involves a lot of lab work basically. Although once in a while we have the opportunity to go outside and actually test some of the things. We went to St. Lucia last year with Dale Morgan and we had an experience of field geophysics there. So it's mostly that I try to do these things in the lab, but sometimes you see that, that it's actually useful in the field as well, and that's kind of cool. Within the Earth Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences departments, or as it is called these days, EAPS, I'm in a group called the Earth uh, Resource Laboratory. And this group is very interesting because it brings together people from different disciplines. For instance, we talk together with people from um, civil engineering and from mathematics, and we're all very close to each other, so you, you can easily walk up to a professor from uh, the mathematics department and ask him his uh, point of view on something you've been struggling with. And I know some people there, like Laurent Demonet and his postdoc, um, Russ Hewitt, for instance, who have helped me a tremendous lot uh, to, to improve some things on the research I've been working on. And yeah, I can just walk down the hall basically to Alison Malcolm for some analysis on my seismics, um, or Brad Hager for some geodynamics. And just this close uh, cooperation really helps a lot 